What's going on YouTube? Uh, I promised that I would uh, make a video when I got my stuff in for my DIY auto top off and I got it in and I'm going to make a couple quick videos in succession and show you what I'm doing. Basically I had already started and then I forgot to make that I had made a video. Um, here's your basic float switch. Um, two wires and when the water gets too is high it's touching and when it drops the water evaporates it drops down and triggers a little switch um, basic tools drill drill bits I got a piece of wood so when I was drilling my hole which I just did it would uh, you know, a piece of acrylic I wouldn't go into my floor so that was what I did how I made the bend. Um, if you look, it's a little black. I've got to wash it off. I just used a lighter and went back and forth real quick on it and uh, started pushing it down. When it started to go, I did it a little bit longer, bent it down into the 90 degree like that, and then dunked it in the water and held it in there for a minute, and that made it solid. So. Um, this is actually uh, a little piece of acrylic from when I did my sump that I saved, which now I'm happy about. So the basics of the overflow. We got a little submersible pump, you know, from Harbor Freight on sale, $6.99, sweet, and your jug. Um, what's going to happen is airline tubing on the end, the submersible pump goes in and sits on the bottom and then I bought a little extension cord and if you look at the extension cord it's one of the ones that has the two two wires, it's not the full circle, it just makes it a little easier and then what we do is some basic wiring, we cut those down the middle with the razor just one of the sides you can choose whichever one you want and then plug splice each one of the ends of the wires into each of the wires once you cut one of the sides don't forget it's just one and then wire nuts and electrical tape or electrical tape um, and don't forget that we're playing with water, and so either plug it into a GFCI or uh, or into a surge protector, and keep it away from the water as much as you can. I'll uh, get back with you once I make the next bend. And remember to measure and make sure that everything you compensate for how low the float switch is going to go, and where you want your water level to be when it automatically tops off. I will see you in a little bit later. Please subscribe and let's uh, let you know when I let my videos out. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to show you real quick on how I'm going to measure this. I got the float switch on and I let my water get nice and low so I can pretty much test it out when I'm done with this. Um, It's kind of going to be kind of hard, but I'll give you the general idea. Um, this is going to go in like this, and uh, you can't really see. We're going to put it down to the level we want it at, and we're going to make a mark with the Sharpie. So let me kind of, well, I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, there we go. Hopefully, I don't drop my phone into the wire. Okay. Now, pen. I'm going to go to the top of the acrylic, right where it's going to go over the edge, and make a mark. Okay. That's where it is. See? And now we'll start we'll start doing the bend. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, if you see the bend, 
it worked out perfectly. Um, there's my original mark right there. Um, I figured out you kind of have to do it in stages. You gotta like this. You gotta. If I was gonna bend, if I was gonna bend right here, I would want to do get everything hot around there, and you make the first bend and kind of then move farther over so you can get a little bit of space in between it doesn't just bend right in half and see I have this like little gap right here so it can hang on the edge and uh, it looks pretty much exactly like the whatever JBJ or your shops uh, overfill or uh, auto top off little bracket and I got this for nothing instead of and if you look it just slides down right over there sits right on the edge and it's sitting absolutely perfectly exactly where I want it I'm gonna bring up the water level probably about another half inch and uh, so I don't know, you can't really see it but maybe you can see down you can see where it's just barely in the water so I'm gonna probably bring it up the water level sitting right here probably bring it up to about right there um, all right I'll be back in a few and I'll show you how to wire this thing maybe we'll have to check all the measurements and stuff uh, so okay what I've done now is I got the submersible pump you can also use it might be a little easier too to use uh, God, what's it called um, the aqua lifter pumps but I had a gift card to Harbor Freight so I'm going to use a submersible, but an aqua lifter pump is nice because you don't have to put the pump in there. Um, now what we're doing is measuring. I got the extension cord plugged into the pump, and then I got it looped in. There's the end of it. I just got a section of it looped into the back of my tank right here. Now what I'm going to do is take, see how it's looped? I'm gonna take a measurement, probably, I'm probably gonna tie it in there. I'm gonna take a measurement and use my Sharpie to make a mark right there and then pull it out and that's where I'll splice the wires together. Um, so you'll see the wires from the auto top off right there on one side and everything taped together but that's should and then you plug it in and then when the float switch is tripped it will auto top off cool okay, okay real quick what I did there's the switch the two wires coming off I used a razor blade to splice down the middle of the wire real careful and as you see there's my mark as you see there's no nicks or anything on the other wire and then cut one wire which is essentially breaks the circuit until this completes the circuit so and then twist them together electrical tape real good because remember you are dealing with electricity and now I got this. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of wrap everything, uh, wrap everything with electrical tape and kind of make it look a little neat. So, but yeah, so there's the electrical cord and there's my splice. So, um, I'll do that. Hey YouTube, coming back at you for the last part. I finished my... DIY auto top off and here it is I just kind of put the wires tuck the wires back I'm gonna get some little clamps um, it's sitting right at my water level made a new water level mark and yeah so one thing that was the problem here's I took my little water hose and I put it down so it fed the sump well, when you put water from a high to low, it creates a siphon, and it was overflowing. I couldn't figure out what was going on. I thought the switch was broken, 
and then realized that the pump was indeed off, but it was just making a siphon. So I plumbed it into my overflow. And yeah, you just see there, I just got it taped right now, um, sitting right there. Make sure you don't dip it into the water also, because that can create a siphon back in. So make sure it's staying above the water, the water grade. So yeah, everything's working perfectly. Uh, subscribe and check out my late, later videos. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'm thinking about making a chiller out of a thermoelectric travel cooler, which would be kind of cool. Um, they're 39 bucks instead of 399 bucks, and they don't take up as much room as some of the other DIY ones that I've seen, like a uh, like a water cooler or something. Because even with a fan blowing on it, we're still sitting kind of high. That's actually pretty low, 79.5. It's actually pretty low. Usually it's a lot higher. So tune in next time. Till later. Thanks. Bye.